So that hello and everybody today is Wednesday January the 6th 2021 now today we're going to be doing our update on quarantine today is what day is it mom is it day eight today yes is day, eight. Eight. day eight well it's day eight from the from the day after we got tested but actually it's day eight of quarantine, but there was the first two days that we had symptoms that we were not quarantined. Right. So, so it's 10 days because we didn't know that we were sick for the first two days. So they give us, I guess, good time time for Yeah, good we got behavior. we got off. <laughs> time yeah, served. Time served and uh, time for good behavior for staying inside. <laughs> so we but. were excited because we felt that we weren't going to be out of quarantine until Friday Saturday. or Saturday. Saturday. And um, the uh, health department had sent us our um, forced contract, quarantine contract isolation. Oh, it's not a contract. I didn't want to agree to it. But anyway, <laughs> um, uh, and anyway, so we're out of, Michael and I are out of quarantine effective tomorrow. Moo is still in quarantine. So let me tell you the story. I got diagnosed with symptoms on the 31st of 2020 and they got diagnosed 23rd on the 29th on the 29th so two days later so two days symptoms. later i started symptoms and then um i didn't get tested of course because i probably have it um yeah so they probably they already knew that i probably had it anyway because they have it and they're my parents so um but um anyway so um so i have to uh stay quarantined till the 11th they're off tomorrow Yes. Yeah. So, As of 12.01 tonight, we are officially off quarantine. We can go party. Well, but we need to watch our kids. So yeah. I hear that Tree Acres is still quarantined no. the weekend. Tree's so going to come spend the night. I think I'm going to drop her off at Tree Acres' house. And yeah. then he can just I said, take a Lego set and you'll be fine. Yeah. But we haven't had any symptoms. We all slept really good. We actually overslept a little bit this morning. Yeah, I missed two periods of my school. Somebody told me to turn my alarm off. <laughs> Her, his alarm kept going off. I'm not going to say not, any names. I'm not pointing. But. I'm not going to point any fingers. <laughs> but as of as of Sunday night, 12.01, Briley's off quarantine. She better go back to school. Monday, Monday, if they're having, like, they're having I want, I want, I want to go back to school, but I just don't want to wake up early. If school started at ten o'clock, uh, it would be our dream if we could start. No, if it started at eight thirty, and then it would be my if bedtime. Then I would have to. If we got to bed on time, eight o'clock, seven thirty, six thirty, wouldn't be an issue. To me, there's no bedtime. That's the problem. That's the problem. But anyway, we're doing really good. We're excited that this is about over for us. And uh, we still want to uh, have prayers lifted up for all of those that are suffering. I mean, some of that we know that were, that were positive at the same time that we were. Uh, I know we're having a very difficult time with it right now mm -hmm. and uh, are even stuck in a different state. They can't get home because their symptoms continue. But today, for one of those, uh, families that sound like they had some a really good uh, a really good day but uh, just pray for those that are suffering with it and those that will get it and then are going to suffer with it we're thankful that it wasn't bad for us but uh, we know as I've said on all of these videos it's a very serious disease we all have to take it seriously don't let it rule your life just do what you can do uh, and even those that are following things to the rule are probably have a good likely chance of getting it. Just don't let it rule your life and uh, do what you can do. Take your vitamins and uh, you can get through it. And dad, have you had any symptoms today? Coughing, sneezing, short, nope. short, shortness of breath. I'm ready to get out of the house. Okay. So. Mom, well, how have you been today? Uh, I have felt really good today. I've had a pretty good day, um, and um, I guess that's about it. Still tired, but the tiredness still gets us. But that's we've been told it. that's a lingering kind yes. of thing. And the health department said that's completely. It'll expected. linger for for weeks. We understand. So, but I really don't have any uh, anything to speak of. Yeah. Maybe. So. How have you been? Uh, today, um, sometimes when I get sick, I get itchy. 
So today I've had like my wrist, I get rashes when I get sick. So I had like a rash on my wrist. A little flare ups so. of eczema. And then, um, yeah, I have eczema, so. Um, I'm very I heard bad skin. attitude sometimes can cause that too. He would know. Yeah, no, I don't have eczema. I must not have a bad attitude. <sighs> anyway, so we love you guys. I love you, you eczema. Thanks for uh, praying for us and um, um, just um, we're going to continue to pray for all those who are still affected by this and mm -hmm. uh, safety for all those who have not yet been affected. And our daughter is doing well in Georgia and our grandkids have had minimum symptoms. Our grandson had minimum symptoms. So um, it seems that, that luckily we've all had just very, very, very mild cases of it. And uh, our next step is donating plasma. The health department's contacted us today about donating plasma so, uh, since we have the antibodies now. Um, so check out our um, eBay page for our product. And uh, mom, what has been your, <laughs> hey mom, since yes. tomorrow you're off your quarantine, don't ask me this question, okay. but um, because I'm not off quarantine yet. But um, mom, what has been the worst part about quarantine? Or the best part? The best part of quarantine is family time. What about the worst part of quarantine? Uh, family time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very offensed right now. No, the worst part has been not being able to um, social. Well, not be able to do the right. things I need to do. If I if I want to run to the grocery store, uh, it's expensive to have groceries delivered, and um, you have to pay for the shipping uh, and yeah, the groceries. I'm a, I'm a and uh, to pay uh, nine ninety five Kroger's to deliver groceries, plus you 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 know you tip the the people and. Um, it, it's just, I'm like, I could have just went right there. And so I think that's probably been the worst thing for me. Dad, what has been the best part of your quarantine? I think like mom said, it's just uh, uh, family time. And what's the um, worst part? I, I echo what she said. It's just... You, family time? No. <laughs> just, just not being able to do the things that I want to do or need to do, you know, and trying to work from home uh, has been difficult. Um, just because I don't have the things that I have at the office to do what I need to do, but I have been able to do some. Just uh, that's the frustrating part. It's just feeling like you're stuck, but you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, if my you, if my quarantine was over tomorrow, I would probably feel I would probably feel the best part about it was um, uh, I kind of like because usually if mom and dad are going somewhere. I have to stay home. Sometimes I don't like staying home, so I'm like, fine, I'll go with you. And then, um, so now, because I don't really like staying home, but I'll do it. But um, so then I they then they had to drag me along. If it's like, then they had to drag me along. I'm like, I just want to sleep. So the best part of quarantine was probably getting to sleep. Yeah. Um, but if it was my last day, then that would be my worst part. But um, or that would be my best part. But um. And my worst part, uh, probably not getting to see friends, because yeah. I have a, I have a one friend, um, and we're really close. We go to the mall. We do everything together, but I can't see him. We had a play date scheduled, and then. But aren't you glad we didn't do that? Because yeah. we found out just before we were supposed to pick her up that we had COVID. So yeah. thank God that we got our test. We were supposed yeah. to pick her up at one o'clock, uh, like a week ago. Two o'clock. Two o'clock and we got our test around one thirty. And at one twenty we went to get yeah. tested. And- um, They were supposed um, to pick her up at one o'clock. I changed it to two, but anyway. Okay, well we love you guys and um, we will uh, actually see some of you very, very soon. Yeah. If you're watching this video. <laughs>